Hi friends, in this video, I'll show you how to install a SQL Server 2019 on Windows Server 2016. Okay, so we are going to install SQL Server 2019 on Windows Server 2016. So, first attach the software, go to your Oracle Virtual Box. In case if you are not using Oracle Virtual Box, you can directly copy paste the software. Okay, so let me go to this settings of this machine and let me attach SQL Server 2019 software and let me click ok let me go to the machine this is our machine okay so what we can do we can skip the updates and all right and let me go to the my computer okay open this pc and there we didn't get the software right so what we can do again attach the software in the oracle virtual box manager settings of this machine stories select the machine and select this live cd dvd click ok and let me check now yes okay sql server software has been attached right click open this is our setup file we have to open this setup file with run as administrator mode run as administrator Right, so this is the installation center. We are going to install SQL Server from installation center only. Once you open the setup file, you will get this installation center. Go to the installation phase, and we are going to install standalone instance, right? So in such case, select the first option, new SQL Server standalone installation, or add features to the existing installation. And again, all these checks should be successful. Then only we can proceed for the installation. Next. Right, next. Perform a new installation. Select it. Next. We are going to install developer edition. Already it was selected. Next. I'm going to accept the license terms. Next will be enabled. Click on next. Uh, choose these features. The main features are database engine. SQL Server Replication and Full Text Search. These are the main features. And uh, Client Tools Connectivity, Client Tools Backward Compatibility, Client Tools SDK, Client Tools SQL Client Connectivity SDK. These are the shared features. As I have already installed SQL Server in this machine, so shared features are already installed. If you want to install, if you're installing this for the first time, you can choose these shared features. Client Tools Connectivity, Client Tools Backward Compatibility, Client Tools SDK, SQL Client Connectivity SDK, okay? Go next. Right. Okay. So install named instance, default instance, whatever you want. But we can install only one default instance that was already occupied. So I'm going to install named instance. Functionality wise, there is no difference between a default and named instance. So let me install SQL 2019. Instance name is SQL 2019. Let me go next.
Right, okay. Here you can install it the virtual service accounts only. If you want to change the service accounts, you can change the service account. And uh, as of now, I'm installing SQL Server with the virtual service account. So I'm not changing any service accounts and all. And collation settings also same. SQL Latin 1 General CP1 CIAS default collation settings. If you want to change the collation settings, you can change from this customize button. You can choose whatever collation, whatever language settings you want, but 90% it will be SQL Latin 1 General CP1 CIAS only. And make sure the services are automatic. Browser service, you can make it as disabled as of now. Later, you can enable the service. Next. And of course, Windows authentication, Mixed Mode authentication. If you choose Mixed Mode authentication, you have to give the password for the SA login account. And if you choose Windows authentication, only Windows people only can log into the SQL server if they have access. Okay. So currently, I'm adding one user. Those who are installing, so if you click on current user, automatically his account will be created as a login in the SQL server. So now this person can connect to SQL server. Make sure at least you add one person here. If you want to add other persons like DBA group, service accounts and all, you can simply type the DBA group name and click on check names and you can add it. In the same way, you can add a service accounts also here. Okay, so as of now, um, I just added only one account. Depends upon your organization, you can add multiple accounts there. So that whatever accounts you are adding here, for those accounts only in the SQL Server, logins are going to be created. Those people only can connect to a SQL Server, not all. Okay, data directories. So usually I am installing all the things in the C drive itself. I'm not changing it. If you want to install, you can change it to different drives. If you want to install data files in separate drive, you can change this to the separate drive, E drive, X drive, whatever drive you want, and whatever drive you have, and uh, use a database log backup directory, sorry, log directory, so that you can dedicate this drive for log files, SQL Server database log files, and backup file, backup directory, you can dedicate one folder or drive for backup files. As of now, everything I'm installing in C drive only, so I'm not changing anything. I'm keeping I'm keep these things as it is. Okay. Temp DB. So temp DB usually it will pull all the settings. It will check how many temp DB uh, data files are required. It will check how many CPU cores are there based on that. It will prepare it will prepare the temp DB data files. So as of now, here, okay, you can see all the all the numbers has been okay automatically pulled so no need to change anything and you can go to max top tab so max top also depends upon the number of cpu cores okay sql 2019 onwards we can set max top during installation itself so max top usually deals with the parallelism and how many cpus has to be used during the parallelism so here if you have one cpu automatically this value will be pulled as one, if you have two CPUs, two like that, you can see how many CPUs you have. That number will be depends on this. Uh, your max top will be depends on the number of CPUs you have. Memory, if you want to set any memory, okay. So usually, um, like for older versions, you can set memory after installation, post installation, you can set it. But 2019 onwards, you can set max top and memory during installation itself. SQL Server minimum server memory, maximum server memory. If you want to set it, you can set it using this recommended option so that you can give how much you want. Usually 80% of the value will give. If not, I'll show you the next video how to change the memory for a running SQL Server. Okay, you can go next. File stream not required for video content data. We'll use file stream. And this is the final screen. And you can click on install button so that it will start installing the SQL Server. I'm pausing the installation screen installation progress screen once it was successful and again i'll show you the status right so once the installation is successful you can see the success screen you can see this window and make sure all the components are successfully installed so if you see here you can see the components again if you choose shared components also those components also will be successfully installed. Make sure all the components, you can see a green check here so that make sure the status are succeeded for all the components. So in this way, you can check whether SQL Server is successfully installed or not, okay? 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो गैस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज